Suppose you could try wearing a helmet tonight, but there's very little any of us can do about it. The planet Earth is preparing nonetheless for the closest encounter we've had in a long while with a foreign object, a giant asteroid that is going to pass very close to our planet. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren reports on this close encounter set for tomorrow. It's the stuff of Hollywood blockbusters like Deep Impact. A massive space rock hurtling toward Earth. For an asteroid, this is a very close call. Close, as in in between the Earth and many of its satellites. On Friday, the asteroid known as 2012 DA-14, a mass half the size of a football field, will pass just 17,200 miles above the Earth, traveling about five miles per second. But slow down, NASA says there is absolutely no danger. It's not going to cause earthquakes. It's not going to cause any climate change. DA-14 was first that discovered by amateur astronomers last February in Spain. Since then, NASA has been plotting its path and is certain there will be no impact. Its closest approach expected to be near Indonesia at 2.24 p.m. Eastern on Friday. Images have already been captured on high-powered telescopes in Australia. You won't be able to see it with the naked eye. With a little research and a decent telescope, you have a shot, but your best bet, maybe to do what a lot of people around here will be doing, monitoring the NASA feed online. As it gets closer, NASA's powerful Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex will be taking radar imagery, research that could help scientists avoid disaster in the future. Back in 1908, a smaller meteor hit in a remote region of Siberia, destroying the landscape for hundreds of miles. And scientists blame the dinosaur's demise on a massive asteroid. The dinosaurs didn't have a space program, so they couldn't <laughs> discover asteroids and they couldn't do anything about it. So now NASA says they'll be watching and learning what they can from what is about to be a very close call. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Pasadena, California.